I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you turned up. Anyways, we're back again on social trends with your girl Doye. Today I'm going to be starting with a question. I think that question is kind of mind. I don't know. I don't know what to call it yet. But the question is about proposals. What do you think about proposals? Do you like indoor proposals or outdoor proposals? I mean, when a guy gets on his knees and like ask a girl to marry him. Anyway, because I have a video, a very funny video actually, about a girl, or oh, sorry, a lady who was proposed to and she passed out. Um, guys, let me show you the video. My cousin asked his girlfriend to marry him, and this happened. because she has suffered in the hands of men i mean yoruba men especially i'm sorry i'm not trying to be tribalistic but um, i've clearly done something to you before guys i have so many questions but before i ask that question let's move right into the tweet i'm going to start with the first the first um comment rather she said um laugh out loud you take my breath away in real life like <laughs> This is very hilarious. Like he actually took her breath away by making her pass out after the proposal. And we have yeah the second reply, the second comment. I said this girl is like is me and I'm her. Waiting person I don't see for relationship, my dear. In which the face oh I can't relate to what you are saying, but oh, oh. breakfast everywhere. Everybody must be served. And we have here the third comment. What if it was an escape route? Oh my, I didn't even think of that. Oh, it could actually be that she doesn't want to say yes and she doesn't want to say no, so she just had to fit. Because if you watch the video, let me show you the video again. You see where she paused at some point, then she fell. So it could be. Then we have here the next comment. Hope she's okay though, but why you faint? You think things say it go dump you like you don't know what she has passed through, so please allow her to paint her faint. Then we have the other um the next comment. She has finally fallen in love permanently. Please not permanently. That actually strikes in like brings in kind of death. I'm I'm sorry, this is my Nigerian my Nigerian traits kicking in. So she's she'll be alright. It's just a moment thing. And we have yeah um another comment. My ayo, don't cry yo. I need Ivo and Shayo. Cousin Borno boy Ivo and Shayo. Our um, last last everybody go your breakfast, like I say okay moving on to our next story hmm. our popular lifestyle influencer for brisky has finally unveiled his long-awaited 400 million house with a grand housewarming party according to the message Brisky posted on his instagram handle the new house is located at pinock beach estate in lekki lagos 400 million guys i'm out that's quite a lot of money anyways congratulations to him because i definitely know it wasn't easy to like gather up that amount of money and to like own that kind of home we have comments as usual concerning the story and we have yet the first the first is san zainab she said he still looks like a man sister he still looks like a man with all those watermelons and back here yeah, did you say he looks like a man are you serious with the makeup and everything eh, she look properly then we have yeah lee man underscore lee man underscore he said i hope bob will pay his debtors now that he's made more money ashwebi abi um ashwebi 200k opo i mean someone that is able to buy to, be, to, to own a 400 million home is it now chicken chain it's more money that you won't be able to pay please people should have some respect we have here the next comment from gift chi underscore bob can go any length for clouds please we're talking about him owning a house celebrating his ownership of a house 400 milli house how is that chasing clouds please allow him to celebrate then we have yet um the last comment happiness is free happiness indeed is free then let me show you a video some people reacted to um a video of a religious leader praying for bob Risky. let me show you the video <laughs> just one twitter comment regarding the the video i just showed you and it says 
Alpha praying. <laughs> God, our child is opening her house today. Protect him. No, she. No, he. She. Then we have a meme of Papa. <laughs> Papa looking. Popular Nollywood Papa that you know Papa looking confused. Like, what are you saying? Pick one. Is he he or she? Okay, guys. Moving to our last, our last story. So you remember some weeks back, Bono Boy was in the news because policemen attached to him were detained for attempted murder. The married woman who was at the center of the whole issue has come out to tell her own side of the story. According to her, it was about 3 a.m. I think um, she said they came to the country, that is Nigeria from America and UK. They came to the country for a friend, a childhood friend's wedding. And they were at a club, Kobana Club, when Bono Boy came in with his friends. According to her, after a little while, one of Bono Boy's friends came to her and requested that Bono Boy wanted to talk to her. On the first trial, she said she doesn't want to talk to him, that she's married and she's with her partner at the club, that she's not interested. But I mean, the Bono Boy friend came back again for the second time and she said the same thing. And he came back again the third time. I mean, oh guy, she said she doesn't want to talk. Leave her alone. Ah, ah. Okay, well, that was when this couple occurred. Though. Like, after the third time he went, according to her story, remember? Then this couple occurred when he came back the third time because her friends flared up and they were upset. Like, leave her alone. She said she's not interested and everything. So, after the scuffle on court, securities in the club came to like calm the situation down as they were all headed back to their section. Another fight broke out again. That was when the shooting started. At this point, the club was in chaos. Anyway, she was screaming and shouting for help after being lifted and um, she said she was hit so hard on the ground by one of his friends. She also added that her partner sustained a head injury as well as a friend who was hurt so bad that he needed urgent hospital care and blood donation. All this now she says she say oh, that's what she said. And we have here some Twitter comments. I'm going to start with um um okay this it said I thought the police said it was NFP NPFs rather officers that fired their service pistol. Also the guy came three times after you cleared him that you were married and started a scrabble. There were no other females in the club. I'll buy into the story like everyone else simply because it's Bonner. So is this guy trying to in- indirectly say that Bonner boy is capable of this even though the story no really add up? Okay. Then we have yeah, Love Damini who said, but Bonner boy did not walk up to the woman, to any woman. Bonner boy was not involved in the fist fight. Bonner boy did not shoot anybody. But it's Bonner boy people are calling out because he's big. Many people are in prison for what they didn't do. If God now man, this world would have melted. What do you guys think? The fact that Bono Boy was not in the didn't actually do all of this does it mean like he's not he should be left out of what occurred or transpired in the club? Then we moving to the next tweet, Party Man of Ninive said, okay, let's believe Bono Boy and his men pulled the trigger. And the story has it that Bono Boy aid a big guy approached the lady tries before her friends fled up and they got into an argument. Don't you guys think that's enough time for them to video the moment considering how civilized they are? Me Stefan, like I'm actually wondering, but let's let's wait for the CCTV footage from the club because there's some clubs that we actually know they don't take phones inside and everything. Then we have here yeah, H O D. He said this story no clear. Let's wait. Like I said, let's wait for the footage from Kobana Club. Okay, guys, this is the end of today's episode, and I hope you found it really informative and entertaining too. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for joining me, and do have a lovely day. Bye.